Hi, I'm Lindsay with the Children's House for the Soul, a community for those with skin conditions. Let's dive into our skin discovery box and work on our watercolor skin slide activity. But first, I wanna bring in some of my friends to help me. Let's go over to our masterpiece cam. And I'm eight, and I like to make my baby sister happy. Two of my sisters have special skin. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm seven. I like to play slime, and I have eczema. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm 11 years old. I like to draw, and I have eczema and alopecia areata. Hi, I'm Courtney. I'm 13. I like to dance, and I have vitiligo. Wow, you guys are such rock stars. Let's get started. Skin, it's our body's largest organ. It works really hard at keeping the outside things out and the inside things in. It helps us regulate our body temperature. It helps us to make sure that we're safe from things like germs and viruses. Our skin is so important and skin can look different sometimes. There's skin that's all different beautiful colors like coffee, caramel, hot chocolate, like white, like milk chocolate or milk, all different kinds of colors and textures too. Some skin is wrinkled, smooth, bumpy, patchy, dry. Skin is so different. So even though it has the same job on everybody's body, it can also work a little differently and sometimes look a little different. That is why when we look at skin under a microscope, it can look especially different and really fascinating. So actually, let's take a quick field trip to, with my friend, Dr. John, over at Sages Diagnostics to learn what our skin looks like under a microscope. Are you there, Dr. John? I'm here, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. John Cangelosi. Most people call me Dr. John. And I'm a special doctor called a dermatopathologist. I look at your skin cells under a microscope and see if they're healthy or not. It's almost like being a skin doctor and a skin detective at the same time. I'm looking at tiny clues and using the facts that I've learned to solve a mystery about what else is going on inside your skin. I'd say just it takes a whole team effort, not just doctors, but scientists, technicians, and researchers all come together to help us figure out what's going on with your skin. Now let me show you some photos of what your skin looks like under a microscope. We call what we see under a microscope a slide. And this right here is a small sample of a wart that we blow up really big to see what's going on in the cells. I hope you have a ton of fun making your own watercolor skin slide. Back to you, Lindsay. Wow, thanks, Dr. John. So cool, right guys? Yeah, okay, are y'all ready to make our own watercolor skin slides? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Okay, let's go. So from your skin discovery box, you're gonna wanna grab watercolor paper and your set of watercolor paints. From home, grab a small bowl of water, something that you can use to trace a circle with, like a cup or a small bowl, a paper towel, and some salt. Now that we have our supplies, let's get started. You can either occasionally pause the video and work along with us on your watercolors, or you can watch the whole video through to the end and do your watercolor on your own. First, you're gonna grab whatever you plan to trace your circle with and make a circle on your page. Looks so good, we got some circles, we're making our skin slide. <laughs> Next, the thing you're gonna do is dip your paintbrush in the water, not the paint, just the water, and you're gonna fill in your circle with the water. This is called the wet on wet technique, and it's gonna look so cool. So get some water on that paintbrush and start filling in that circle, because when we start adding color to this water, Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see. It's gonna look so cool. Okay. okay, next you're gonna take your paintbrush, get it wet, spread it into your purple, and then get some purple on your paintbrush and start dabbing it inside your circle. Maybe spreading it around a little bit with some little dots and water. Nice, great job, everybody. It's looking so good. So next you're gonna take your paintbrush 
Get a little bit of water, get it nice and wet, and then you're gonna make your pink in your pink tray nice and wet with your paintbrush. Then, when you've got your pink paint ready, you're gonna dip into it a little bit, and you're gonna start making little drops on your circle. And you can start putting it inside your circle. You can make dots or little splotchy dots. Good job, yeah. We're gonna make this look like a skin slide under a microscope. Oh, nice job, girls. Looking so good. Colin's got it, Courtney's got it, yeah. While it's still wet, we're gonna take some of our salt and sprinkle it onto our watercolor skin slide. It's gonna add a really cool texture. Wow, guys, that looks amazing. Great job, everybody. So last but not least, if you want, when your picture is dry, you can dust the salt away or you can leave it there as some extra texture. Either way, you guys have all made skin slide masterpieces. Share your masterpiece with us on social media at a children's house for the soul, hashtag skin discovery box, hashtag I was made a masterpiece.